How's my little watermelon boy? <laughs> you don't on, like guys. your costume? How oh. about your helmet? Take it off! Set up your two buckets with 500 ml of water, then pour the 15 grams of green and pink dyes into two separate containers. Mix it well, then in another container, put a dye fixative in one gallon of lukewarm water which will keep the dye from fading from frequent washing. So in this project, we use soda. You can skip this step if your dye doesn't specify it in the instructions. Okay, so the first shirt that we're going to dye is my blouse. Completely submerge your fabric in the soda ash solution. Okay, you have to leave it there for 10 minutes. And while waiting, let's check the dye. Okay, so this color is perfect. Now let's test the green. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now in order to get the white line between the green and the pink, we are going to put masking tape uh -huh. in between. I want the division to be good. This is good, then everything else is perfect. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. In the line? Then, yeah. The dye will still bleed through the tape, but the space will be protected from obvious splashes or messy fingers. Okay, now the fun part. We're going to dip the clothes to the dye. Okay, let's go. Pink. One end in green, then one end in pink. There you go. Did you fart? No. <laughs> I think it's okay if you remove the the book. Okay. Just protect the. What? The center part. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Once you get the level of color that you like, you can now lift it up and transfer it on another container and just let it rest overnight. Just repeat the process to your other fabric. Okay, so Ron's gonna do his own shirt. Hey, another fold. Find 
Bring it out carefully and place it on another container and let it rest for 24 hours. Go! Hey, Sure, the table is clean. So who's gonna do it? You or me? You? <laughs> okay, so this time we're gonna show you another way of dyeing a short. Since you cannot dip it in the container, we're gonna use the bottle. This. This short is from my niece. So we're gonna do another way of dyeing this one with the watermelon design. Get a tape and you're gonna put it on top. Again, the dye will still bleed through the tape, but the space will be protected from obvious splashes or messy fingers. Okay, so before you apply the dye on the back of the short, make sure the surface is clean so the green won't stain on the pink, and vice versa. You don't have to wring it out because it will stain, so just place it on another container carefully and let it rest for 24 hours. Now it's time to wash it out. Rinse the clothes until the water runs clear, then machine wash and dry. Look at mine! <laughs> oh, wait, wait! Where is she? Oh. And we haven't introduced her yet. She's very rich, my niece. Hi guys, I also have YouTube channel. You can subscribe. And I also have TikTok account. You can follow me. Very rich underscore. Yeah, she also do vlogs and tutorials, right? Yes. So now she's gonna join us to do the kitschy water balance seeds on the clothes before let's they go. get really wet. So let's go! Lastly, draw watermelon seeds with a black fabric marker. So here we are using Pilot's Thermal wash fabric pet. Now I'm done. You're done? Yes. You're so fast. You're so fast. Yes. Why <laughs> are you laughing, me? That would look like a stick. Like a bullet hole. <laughs> this is an art, right? This is an art. <laughs> and, and we're done. And let's try it, guys. Yeah, one, two, two three. Oh, how about you, girls? How about you? My favorite is this short. I like it. It's perfect. It looks like a Starbucks short, right? <laughs> Of course, so I inverted watermelon. Last <laughs> Social distance. Huh? <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching. You hope you enjoyed this video. And if you love this video, give us a big thumbs up. up. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>